Hello and welcome to another episode of Dick Small Engines. And this little in this little episode, we're going to have a butcher's at a valve spring compressor tool. This is genuine. I think I had this from Briggs Bits. I've had it for a while, but I haven't got around to doing uh, any content on it yet. Uh, I will put a link somewhere here now if I can find one. I can't remember what I paid for it. There's the part number, 19063. There is the valve spin compressor in all her glory. Made in the USA. Not much to it, but uh, let's have a butcher see how she works. Right. So there's not much to these tools. You've got an adjustment here, you wind in to clamp in on your spring and wind out. And then you've got two adjustments here to wind in and out according to the width or circumference of your spring and valve keeper. I've got this set. I've got a three horsepower horizontal shaft Briggs for the purpose of this before anyone starts saying more your lamping valves in look at the state of the block and the valves need lapping I'm going to do the intake valve for the purpose of this I'm going to try and do it with one hand no I'm not yes I am so it needs winding in a bit oh. Valve spring and valve keeper is now fully compressed. Okay, that's in there. Let's make a let's move this intake valve in. to locate it's better it should be in situ so now you have to excuse me I'm back like a spring off now as it should be in situ Valve keepers holding, just wanted to double check that. So, handy little tool, Briggs 19063 is the part number off of Briggs Bits. If you like this little episode of Dick Small Engines, oh, and the same procedure will go for removing the valve. Simple, straightforward. Lots of little episodes, dig small engines, give us a like, share and subscribe until the next one. Take care, try for now.